Just tell us what went into the decision not to run. Well, it was a really hard decision. I, I um, first of all, unexpected. We're, we're all so grateful to David Cicilline. And I thought really hard about it. And two things for me. One is that I had to really think about what my strengths are. And I think my strengths are executive. And I just didn't think this role would allow me to bring my best. And the second thing for me is I love doing work in the state. I want to make a difference long term in the state. And I feel like I can have a bigger impact here. I, I think you alluded to this. You kind of hear sometimes if you come from an executive background, maybe Congress isn't, you know, when you're one of 435, and especially if you're on the newer end in the minority party, that's really not what you're used to. So is that what you're saying, that you're used to being the boss and this is <laughs> that's not what would happen down there? Well, I first of all, I think Congress is really important. And one of the things that compelled me to think about it, at least, is we need good, reasonable people who are there and it matters to us in the state. So I, I think it's a very important job. But for me, I love leading teams of people. I love coaching people, inspiring people, and and uh, that's what I've been doing in the last six months and I hope to continue to do it. Uh, do you have a preference in the race? Someone you, you'd like to see or I know that it's no, still shaping it's, up now. it's shaping up. It's going to be really interesting. I, I think we're going to get a lot of people jumping in in the next week or so. and. I don't know yet. I mean, one of the things that I think is so wonderful about this process is the process tests you. You know, when I when I started, people didn't know me, and they got to know me over time. And I think there could be people emerging that we just don't know about. But I'm I'm eyes wide open like the rest of us. Uh, I know everything else is a long ways down the road. Do you have anything else in your sights? Would you? I, I, would you be planning to run for governor again in a few years? Well, I don't know. I'm, I'm not running for anything right now. I, I really am loving what I'm doing, and I want to be in a position where I can give back to the state. And I don't know what the world will look like in a couple of years, what my family situation will be in, what the state looks like, um, but I want to continue to serve between then and now. In the governor's race, you know, the, the common wisdom is you made a, a late surge, and you really uh -huh. came on late. What did that make you think after the fact, and that, like, okay, I'm not done with political chances because I felt like I did really well, especially at the end there. Yeah, I loved, I loved running. There were so many people who said to me afterwards, gee, that was hard, you lost, would you ever do it again? And I don't know if I'll ever do it again, but I felt like I was a better person for the whole experience. I met amazing people. I really uh, felt like I could make a difference. And yeah, I was proud of all of us. You know, the last three weeks was an incredible surge. I think once people got to know me in the debates, that made a big difference. And so I walked away feeling really proud of the whole team and eager to have an impact, as I'm saying. All right, so for now you're in the private sector and also helping out with some nonprofit organizations? Oh, I'm, I'm having so much fun with what I'm doing. Basically what I did after the race is I reached out to a lot of people I got to meet this week and I said, I'd love to help you if I can. And so I'm doing work in education. I've, I've got work going on in Johnston on the school construction committee. I'm doing some work in Central Falls on a whole host of issues, mental health uh, and, and education. And I'm uh, also helping Sophia Academy in Providence. I'm also doing work in healthcare. I'm helping raise money for a new women and infants uh, 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 birthing center. And uh, the labor and delivery room that they have at women and infants is 34 years old. I had my four children there, and 81% of all babies in the state are born at Women and Infants, so I'm really proud to be working with them. And then I'm working on some uh, ways that I can help with economic development, some connecting businesses to leaders in the state, uh, medical device segment, life sciences, so opening doors so people can start to connect in the hopes that we can have more good jobs here in the state. Do you, do you have any contact with the governor or his administration? Do they reach out to you or no? Is that I haven't had no. any contact with the governor, but I'm, you know, I'm, I'm meeting with a lot of really great people, so it's very inspiring. Hi, everyone. It's Patrice Wood from NBC10. Thank you for checking out the NBC10 WJAR YouTube channel. Click the links on your screen for more stories from across southern New England. And don't forget, hit the subscribe button below and get notified anytime we post an update on YouTube. As always... Thank you for turning to 10.